It's summer 2008. The job's starting. Leifolf is going to Berlin, a city of great importance to him. When he was only 22, he was invited by conductor Nerma Yervi to play with the Berlin Philharmonic, one of the world's finest orchestras. It was an extraordinary success for the rising star. On this trip, however, <laughs> there's no conductor with a baton waiting for him. I'm someone that, that takes a lot of pleasure from trying to create pictures from anything. What I, can, what I would like to offer the project is a new audience. Robin grew up in South Africa, but lives here in Berlin. On the right is the Berlin Wall. Street art meets classical piano. What will happen when the two work together? That's the question, as Robin demonstrates his choice of music. See, like, shit is not shit, shit is like shit. <laughs> they are artists from two different worlds. Robin has never set foot in a classical concert hall. Okay. I just come here because there's a lot of graffiti inside there. And I've been, I did a couple of pieces, done a couple of works inside here. So let's see, maybe if we jump over here. This cordoned off, derelict industrial site is a far cry from Life Over's classical haunts. Yet it's home turf to Robin. He grew up in Johannesburg, where graffiti became his passion. Today, he is an acknowledged master in the world of street art, thanks to chalks and a okay, spray so. can. A wall, a drawing, a person, the heart of Robin's work. So usually when I start, when I draw, it's important that I take it away from the drawing. I push the object further through drawing. I push the meaning of the object into something else. So I'll push, I'm going to just continue drawing on this and see what happens. For example, I'll just do this. I continue those lines. You know, when two worlds collide, that is when the results are most interesting. This is Robin's workshop. Wow. I try to find a, a model as close oh to you <laughs> as I can. In here, he will create a world around life over. The stage, huge screens, to show the most important thing of all, a visual accompaniment to life over playing pictures at an exhibition. Perfect size. Michael Jackson's moonwalk. Shh. <laughs> In one year, They'll have the show and a world tour ready, but everything's still wide open. However, Robin so, is adamant about one thing, made. and it rather shocks life over. They must murder uh, a piano. This character begins to now try to murder this piano, as if the, the piano was alive. And he tries to kill this piano using a pillow to suffocate it. Then he uses a knife, then he tries to burn it, then he tries to chop it with an axe, and eventually kills the piano by hanging it. But are, are you still thinking of, of including this in our project somehow? I yes, mean... very much. The mm -hmm. piano becoming a kind of loving entity that is now being murdered by the piano player. I mean, it, it's... I find that it's, it's actually a big challenge for me to just let it go at this stage. I mean, you just have to do your thing. And I, 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 I realized, I mean, for the next month, I, I just have to... Well, if this is a metaphor for our journey, it's quite clear that he has, is more in control of everything. <laughs> and I think he is at the moment, because I can't even imagine how this project is going to end. But he knows, I have a feeling. <laughs> <laughs>
Robin's Pictures, a response to what this is all about. This music, Pictures at an Exhibition, written in 1874 by the Russian composer Modest Mussorgsky. It was a revolutionary piece, which now has an iconic place in music literature. <laughs>